So MIDI step input is very convenient to use, uh, but a little bit fiddly perhaps to use both the Mac keyboard and the MIDI keyboard. So why don't we set up MIDI triggers um, for these three buttons at the bottom of the step input dialog, that is undo step, redo step and next step. And you can do that by clicking here in this field so it goes green and then playing a note on your MIDI keyboard that you want to use as the MIDI trigger. Then press return and we'll do the redo step next. So another MIDI note, press return and then the next step we'll have a D and press return. Okay so that means that we can do everything from the MIDI keyboard. So we can enter a note from the MIDI keyboard, enter another MIDI note, but we can also undo that last step by pressing the C1 on the MIDI keyboard, or redo that step by pressing C sharp one on the MIDI keyboard. Then we can advance by pressing D1 on the MIDI keyboard. Okay, so I'm just moving forward by eighth notes there because that's the step increment value by pressing a D1 on my MIDI keyboard and then carry on inputting notes as before. So very convenient to have it all on the MIDI keyboard there. By the way, to clear those assignments, uh, you simply click in the first of those fields, press the backspace button, tab to the next field, press backspace, tab to the next press backspace and then press return and they're all cleared.